All right, hopefully I figured this out when I'm filming. We're gonna try vlogging because this new project that we are taking on this flip home is super exciting and I'm gonna take you with me to pick out like the finishes. So I'm heading to the countertop place right now and I need to get something really affordable that still looks in style. So this is gonna be the challenge, but I think it'll be really fun. So here we go. All right, so there's tons of options here. This one's called Fantasy Brown. This is one that I used on my kitchen surround. I love honed and leather, leathered countertops. Leathered basically means you can feel the texture of the stone. So this one here is called Steel Gray, and I used this on our island um, of our house we're in now. It's a really good one. It's actually a granite, and so it's more affordable than you think, but it's nice and like neutral, not very like busy. I feel like this kind of speckled type granite was big for a while, but I'm pretty over it. Then you've got like quartz, which is really simple, usually more single colored, more consistent. I think quartz is going to be too expensive, and I don't like that you can't put heat on quartz. That always bothers me. This one is still kind of speckly, but it's pretty neutral. Here's another steel gray. I honestly think I might go with this again. I just really like it. It feels like it would be a more expensive stone. It really does. This one behind here, if you can see the difference there. The one behind um, has, I think it's either just got the seal. Yeah, it looks like it's polished. So it is darker when it's polished. Not that for sure. Here is, this is actually, they told me they just got in these slabs of steel gray that are darker. They look more, almost more black with a little gray. Those are kind of pretty too. It's very similar to that steel gray, but it doesn't have the detail. I like that there's a little bit of like rock and kind of movement in the steel gray. That's a fancy marble, not my thing. That one's not too bad in terms of the color. It's kind of neutral. Yeah, honestly, kind of leaning toward that gray. Here's more, more of the steel gray. And it's honestly the one of the cheapest ones they have here. That steel gray is in the price group one. I think it's fairly common. I've seen it other places too. Okay, here's a gorgeous, this is called Ocean Pearl Quartzite. I love this stuff. If you have a lot of money, this one is beautiful. It's got a lot of grays in it and then just that. I like that it's kind of a linear a linear movement in it so stunning but definitely expensive and this one you might recognize this was what I used on our island in our house that we recently sold and I also love it silver macubus and there's also I think white macubus almost looks like pencil sketch veining I love that I'm obsessed with this look at this marble this one's really cool too it's like a sketchy type of look fabric almost. The colors in it are so cool. Kind of tan and greenish. Yeah, and these are just some granites back here. So I think it's looking looking like I might go with that steel gray again. But I do need to find something for the primary bathroom, countertops, and the laundry room probably too. So I'm gonna keep browsing. I might go look at remnants. When you have smaller pieces like that, definitely look at, at remnants because you can usually get them for less. All right, so here I am back in the car. Here is a sample of the stone that I'm looking at for the kitchen countertops. It's that um, steel gray, but the darker one. And I think it's pretty cool. It's mostly like black and gray tones, but um, has a little bit of detail and texture to it, which I love. Um, and then this is the remnant piece that I was able to find. Simple white or simply white quartz. Quartz isn't my favorite, but it's okay. I like it better for a bathroom than I do for a kitchen because um, you can't like set a hot pan on this. It can damage it. I don't worry about it as much for like a laundry room or bathroom. Obviously your hair tools you would need to avoid it with. I think it's okay up to 300 degrees if I remember right. Don't quote me on that. But this is what I'm looking at doing because I found it as a remnant 
and so I think it'll go with everything. I'm gonna go check to see if it works with my tile that I'm looking at using from Emser. So that is coming up next on my journey today. This is the tile, one of the tiles I'm looking at. It kinda looks like a natural stone. It looks pretty good with these. All right, so I'm back home now and I'm on the back patio so we got some natural light. Here's some stuff I have found today. There's that countertop material, which is pretty cool. It's pulling a little more green in the camera than it is in real life. And this is what I'm looking at for cabinetry. I have a little bit of that gray and then um, it kind of looks more greenish too, but it's almost got a little more of a blue undertone in real life. And then in the kitchen as well, I'm gonna have probably some white oak, like natural wood tone for the flooring and maybe even the islands. And then this color, I wanna use um, Skyline Steel for like a cabinet that I'm doing. It's kind of like a built-in china cabinet because you know I love a good built-in china cabinet. I am always drawn to these kind of grayish, cream, and greens and blue tones. Like, I just love them, so I'm just not gonna fight it. This, I thought looked really pretty. Um, these are all Sherwin-Williams paint colors, but I thought this looked super pretty with that quartz, bringing out that little bit of that grayish in there. That would be for the laundry room and maybe the primary bathroom as well. I might leave the cabinet in there because it's a white oak already and just refinish it so it's a little bit more updated. These are my other contenders. Really pretty colors. They look a little more green in the camera than they are in real life. They're definitely grayed down a lot in person. And then for my walls, um, maybe this drift of mist or gossamer veil. They're kind of similar to China white in that they have more of a grayish undertone to them instead of like a yellow as creams often do and I just try so hard to avoid that like yellowish tone because I feel like paints almost get more yellowish over the years you know when it's on the wall and can look kind of dingy and I don't know old so we want to keep it fresh so I'm loving how those you know look up against this Quartz as well. Still some stuff to finalize, but that's where we are at so far. And man, it's so hard finding stuff in stock. I think we're doing all right so far. I've just had to be like, you know, I can't have all the options in the world for this. I have to kind of find out what stuff's available and then go from there. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when our next video is live. And I'll be sharing more updates as we go through this process.